Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio! You know, after making all these darker dolls for Halloween, and this year I've made three Halloween special dolls. First of all, it was from Barbie to the Night King. You can see him, by the way, there on the background, hiding in the bushes. Uh, then the second doll was the Dead Laura Palmer doll. And then after this, I also made a black and white Scorpio doll. So after making these three kind of darker dolls, I really feel like I have to make something very colorful, very cute, cartoonish, funny, you know, something like this, because uh, it's enough, enough darkness here on my channel. And that's why for today's transformation, I have decided to take this LOL doll. I have repainted them already twice on my channel, and I really enjoyed it extremely a lot every single time I worked on them. And the funniest part of this transformation that I actually have no idea yet what I'm going to do today. Of course, you have seen already the thumbnail, you have seen already the title of this video, and you know where I'm going to end up. But for me, you know, first of all, I have to open this package, I have to unwrap all these surprises sitting inside, and I have to see what kind of a doll I get today in this box. Of course, I have a couple of projects in my mind, I have a couple of ideas, but I don't know yet exactly which one I'm going to choose today. So, let's quickly open this package. You know, I cannot do unboxings on my channel anymore, because if you're unboxing toys on YouTube nowadays, you might be qualified as a kid's content, demonetized, uh, you know, all this story. No likes, no comments, all that jazz. So, that's why I'm going to unbox it very quickly now on camera, and then we will start the transformation. So this is our doll. I don't know, is it just me or she really looks like some mini Billie Eilish, such a cute bad guy? But anyway, even though I find these tiny LOL dolls really super sweet, I still have a huge problem with the way they have been sold. I don't know, has Greta Thunberg seen this amount of packaging used to sell one tiny doll? I don't know, I really kind of like these LOL dolls, they're always fun to work on them, but I feel really not good at the same time. Every time I say no, I will not work on LOL dolls anymore because this is, this is just ridiculous, I don't support this, but at the same time, they're cute and I like working on them, I don't know, I Probably I should start buying them somewhere on second-hand market on something like this and drop this unboxing part, this surprise part, because I really don't want to support all this plastic, plastic, plastic and plastic and plastic around it. Okay, that was a little bit a moment of ecological awareness on my channel. And right now, let's move to the doll customizing. So, and I've actually decided to turn this tiny and cute doll into Kenny from South Park. Because really, guys, I used to be such a huge South Park fan back in the time. I'm talking now about some early 2000s, like 2004, 2005. Really, it was so legendary, it was so fresh, it was so funny. It was also very good for my English. Really, I learned my English watching Beavis and Butthead, South Park and The Simpsons, probably. It was my main practice back in the days. 
And in that time, Kenny was a real legend because really nobody has seen his face yet. I really remember the episode where somewhere, I have no idea what was going on in that episode, but I really remember in the end of the episode, him pulling off his cape and you can see this blonde dude and everybody was like, whoa, is this Kenny? That's crazy. So yes, it's again some of my old stories from the, from the 90s. But for me, Kenny is a real media legend. Honestly, I kind of stopped watching South Park. I don't know why, like, I've been changed. Maybe they've been changed, maybe not. I actually don't even know if they still work on this show. Does it still exist? I don't know, because I really stopped watching it somewhere, I don't know, maybe around 2007, 2008. But anyway, I really love this show. I have the best memories of it. And that's why today I think we're going to have a lot of fun turning this LOL doll into Kenny. So let's undress this doll again now, cut her hair very short, and then I will remove the rest of the short hair using my tweezers. And after this step, I'm going to remove her makeup using pure acetone. And don't forget, acetone is extremely toxic and dangerous. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for a mini plastic surgery and of course I want to remove this eyeliner and the eyelashes first and then I also want to remove the nose and the lips to make the area around the mouth completely flat. I'm going to use a piece of sticky Warbler Cobra Cast Thermoplastic to fill in this hole in his mouth. Of course, I could also use some clay to do the same job, but I really like using Warbler because you don't have to wait for hours until it gets dry, because it becomes hard just in a minute. So and now I'm going to take this soft silk clay and I will sculpt the complete Kenny outfit out of it.
And since Kenny passed away in all kinds of different ways in almost every episode of the show, I think I want to make a zombie Kenny today, the one from this picture. And that's why I immediately create a crack on top of his head. And what have I told you in the beginning of this video? That we will make a cute and colorful doll and no Halloween, no darkness. Well, I lied. <laughs> it's gonna be a cute and colorful zombie today. So this is what I've made, looks super cute I think, and now I will let it dry overnight and then I will add some texture. On the pictures Kenny has a wound on his head and another one on the side of his body. And to recreate these spots I'm going to glue tiny pieces of tissue paper to the costume using tacky glue. And then about an hour later when the glue gets completely dry, I can start covering it all with acrylic paint.
After this I cover the doll with two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start working on his face, like draw the crack on the middle of the face, draw the eyes, apply some shadows to the face and to the outfit as well and draw some other details. So and now it's another exciting part, let's attach the stitches and I'm going to use Warbler Thermoplastic again to do it. Kenny also has two ribs coming out of the chest, so let's make them as well. Okay, now let's paint the stitches white, add some shadows, and it's almost finished, I think.
So here is the end result of our transformation today and I don't know, maybe it's just me but I love this doll so much you cannot imagine and I've also enjoyed working on it extremely a lot you know, to say honestly, I feel extremely stressed lately because of all these upcoming changes on YouTube. It really seems like our cozy doll art community is going to be basically killed by all these changes. And it's of course extremely demotivating and it's not good for my inspiration. But this time working on this doll was so much fun that it's even cured me in some way in these dark moments. And this is probably what art is made for, to make you feel better and to help you think about something else. By the way, there is a petition asking YouTube and the FTC to think twice, or at least to think better, about the changes they're about to make and about the consequences, because right now they make no clear difference between videos, content targeted especially for kids, and videos that might be attractive for kids as well. And because of this, we all will wake up into a completely new world, into a completely new YouTube on January 1st. So if you have a moment to support us, and not just us, it will affect thousands and thousands of different creators working in different genres. It's not going just about art. It's, a, it's going about all videos that might be potentially interesting, attractive for kids. So please sign the petition, I will put the link to it into the description box. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon, next week Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.